Father God, I pray right now in the name of Jesus that my friends don't turn out like Samson and Solomon and some of these other people who did not sanctify themselves and did not have set their lives apart for you. I'm praying tonight for the miracle of sanctification. That's what I'm praying for. The miracle of sanctification. Number two, I want to pray, Lord, tonight for people who are not catching these thoughts. The devil starts with one or two little thoughts. He implants them in the person's mind, and then frustration and doubt and anger and self-doubt, and it all starts to multiply like termites. The thoughts start to eat away at the mind. And later on, the person develops full-blown mental illness. It takes years. The devil's plenty patient. And I pray, Lord, you will touch them with the Holy Ghost tonight. I pray for the moving of the Spirit tonight, Lord. I pray that you will not be grieved, but will come, come aggressively with mercy and love. I pray that every person that is not sanctified themselves and has not come out from among them, whoever hasn't done that, I pray they will have the courage to come down here and pray and repent. You can come down now if you want to. Jesus said, I sanctify myself. I set myself apart for God. And that's what he did. He set himself apart supernaturally, died on the cross of Calvary, and was raised from the dead. Wherefore, God has highly exalted him and given him a name among, above every name, that at the name of Jesus, every knee shall bow, every tongue shall confess, that Jesus Christ is the Lord. How did he get there? He sanctified himself. He set himself apart for God. And God gave him everything. The warehouse of blessings Jesus received. The whole warehouse. Because he sanctified himself. Will you do that? Are you supposed to receive blessings you haven't received yet? Are you supposed to be somewhere you're not there yet? Are you supposed to be doing something for God you're not doing yet? That has to stop. And if you'll come out from among them, don't be like Samson and Solomon. Those guys screwed everything up. They had everything you could ever dream of handed to them. Unbelievable blessings. Toss them in the trash. You're not going to do that. You're not going to do that. You're not tossing anything in the trash. You're going to sanctify yourself and God's going to open the warehouse because you are his son and his daughter. You are not one of the neighbor's kids. You're his kid. Will you do that? Will you, will you sanctify yourself right now? Dear Lord, I'll help you. Dear Lord Jesus, please forgive me, Lord, for waiting all these years to not sanctify my life. I'm so sorry about that. I made a big mistake. I kept my one foot in the world and I kept my other foot in church. I should never have done that. And I paid a heavy price for it, a heavy one. It cost me physically. It cost me mentally. It cost me emotionally. I have been in pain off and on for years. I've had everybody in the world reject me, including the churches. I've had my family turn their backs on me. I've had my friends leave me. Now, looking back on it, I should have sanctified myself years ago and changed. That's what I should have done. I should have changed, Lord. I should have changed. Tonight, I am Jonah. 
I'm going to crawl out of the bowels of hell and I am going to get back on the shore and I am going to fulfill my destiny. I'm going to Nineveh. I'm going. I'm going to change. Lord, I pray and ask you right now, help all my friends standing here, all my friends here, please help them to be Jonah tonight and to repent. Repent of not sanctifying themselves. Repent of not doing what they knew they were supposed to do and didn't do it. Something told them in their heart, their conscience, their soul, something told them. Someone told them, like Samson's parents, they begged him to do the right thing. He deliberately did the wrong thing. I was like Samson, Lord, and I'm praying and asking you to forgive me right now. Oh, God, forgive me. Please help me. Please forgive me, Lord. I was like Samson. I disobeyed. I disobeyed. I went the wrong direction. I did the wrong thing, and it cost me. I paid a severe price for it. But tonight, I'm coming home. I'm going to set myself apart and sanctify my life to the Lord. I'm going to do it tonight, Lord Jesus. And I'm asking you to help me right this second. I want all these evil spirits that tricked me into keeping one foot in the world and one foot at church, I want every one of them out of my body tonight. I want every evil spirit that led me into drugs and sex and porn and alcohol and now fentanyl and every other horrible drug. I want every one of these spirits that drove me down the primrose path I want them out now in the name of Jesus Christ. I command that they come out right now. Every spirit from my mother, my father, my stepdad, my foster parents. I want them out in Jesus' name right now. I want them out in the name of the Lord. Thus saith the Lord, you drug, you drug infested spirit, I bind your power. You filthy demon of religion, I command you to come out in the name of Jesus. Name of Jesus, come out of my body right now. The Holy Ghost starting to move right now. He's moving now. If you will sanctify yourself, if you will turn from your wicked ways, thus saith the Lord, come now. Let us reason together, saith the Lord. Though your sin be like scarlet, they shall be as wool. Though they be red like crimson, they shall be white as snow. Satan, I command you to take your filthy hands off my body. Take your filthy hands off my mind. Stop putting negative thoughts into my mind right now. Stop it. Stop causing me to live with regrets. Stop it in Jesus' holy name. Come out of my body this very moment. I command you in the name of the Lord. I will not end up like Samson. I will not end up like Solomon. I will not do it. I choose. I choose. There he goes. They're coming out right now. There they are. Come out of that body right now. Hurry up. Come out of that body quickly. Come out quicker. Come out quickly. There they come. I will not end up like Solomon, a loser, a stinking sex addict. I will not live with lust anymore. I will not be a chronic masturbator. I will not go back to porn. I will not go back to meth and fentanyl. It will not happen. Satan, I bind your power. And I command you to come out. Right this second, come out now. I'm not listening to demons anymore. I'm not listening to negative thoughts anymore. I'm taking those thoughts captive. It only takes one thought to ruin the rest of your life. One negative thought that you keep begins to grow like Solomon's wives 
He only started out with one wife. He ended up with a thousand demon-possessed women. He started out with one demon-possessed woman. One. <laughs> ended up with a thousand demon-possessed women. It will not happen to you. It will not happen to you. Satan, I command you, come out. Come out. I will not die a pervert, a masturbator, a porn addict. I will not die taking offenses with bitterness and unforgiveness in my soul. I repent of it right now. I repent of it. Come on now. you got to do something. You can't sit there and do nothing. This is called spiritual warfare. Warfare requires a war. Thus saith the Lord to everything. There is a season and a time for every purpose under heaven. There is a time to love. There is a time to hate. Saints of God, tonight is your night to hate. Hating sin, hating demons, hating lies, hating lust, hating addictions. Are you an addict? Fentanyl, meth, food, sex. All addictions are caused by demons. All addictions are caused by demons. If you are an addict, you have spirits and they are controlling your life. This is a war. To everything there is a season. There is a time for peace. There is a time for war. There's a time for war. Tonight is your night to hate. Tonight is your night for war. Tonight is the time for war. You must fight right now. I command you, Spirit, in the name of Jesus, to come out of my body by the power of the Holy Ghost. I command you right now, listen to me. You already lost your wife, your husband, your kids, your money. You lost the house. You already lost everything. You lost it because you didn't sanctify yourself. Now, repent tonight in sanctification and you will be healed. You will be delivered. Spirit, I command you to come out of my body right this second. I said do it. Come out, you wicked. Evil, come out of there. <laughs> Evil, come out. Evil, come out of that body right now. <laughs> Go! Come on, you cannot be a coward. God did not give us a spirit of fear. That Greek word, dalia, means cowardice. You have not been given a spirit of being a coward. You have been given love, you've been given a sound mind and power. But you got to use your power. You have to use it. You got a gun, a gun is worthless until you use it. You got a weapon, it's worthless until you use it. You got to use, <coughs> use your power. Put your hand on your body, YouTubers. <coughs> Put your hand on your body. Put one on your chest. Put one on your tummy. Spirit, I bind your power. Matthew 18. I take charge over you. Luke. Luke chapter 10. I stomp on you, Spirit. Luke chapter 10. And I command you, Mark 16, I command you to come out of my body right now. Come out of my body right now. Hurry up. Get out of that body right now. Hurry up. Come out of there. Quickly. Come out of there quickly. Come out. Get out of that body right now. Hurry up. 
Move now. Go now. Satan, I bind your power. I command you. I command you to loose my body. Loose my mind. YouTubers, put your hand on your head. Put your hand on your head. And command those seducing spirits. Come out of your mind. Satan, get out of my mind. Come out of my head. Right now. Bipolar. Bipolar. I bind your power. Schizophrenia, I bind your power. Borderline, I bind your power. You lust demon. You filthy lust demon, come out of my head. <coughs> Bad dreams and nightmares. Lust dreams. Lust dreams, come out of my head. Get out of here. You demon of lust, I bind your power. Sleep paralysis. Demons of fear causing sleep paralysis. You woke up in the middle of the night, you were frozen, you couldn't move. You couldn't do anything. That was a fear spirit. That was a lust spirit. I command you, sleep paralysis. Come out of my body right now. Go. Go. You woke up in the middle of the night, you couldn't even move. You tried to talk, you couldn't even talk. You tried to call on the Lord, you couldn't even get it out. Sleep paralysis. Demons of fear, go! Go now! Did you used to hate somebody? Did you ever hate somebody? When you hated that person, a spirit of hate entered you! You ended up with a demon of hate because you hated them! You hated them. Repent of it. Lord God. Lord God, forgive me. Lord God, have mercy on me. I repent. I repent of hating people. I repent of hating my ex-wife. I wanted to kill her. I wanted to kill my ex-wife. And the devil killed me instead. I hated her. And the devil put it on me. God, forgive me. God, forgive me. Lord Jesus, help me. Lord Jesus, help. Help me, Lord. Help me, Lord. Help. Help me, Lord Jesus. I'm sanctifying myself. Tonight, I set my life apart for the Holy Ghost. <coughs> I, I can be another Catherine Kuhlman. I can be another Amy Simple McPherson. I can be another A.A. A. Allen. I can have the anointing if I sanctify myself. God help me. Help me sanctify myself, oh Lord. Help me, dear God. Help me, dear God. Help me sanctify myself. I want to talk to the ladies on YouTube. Listen, the devil tricked you and you fell in love with some guy with demons. That was the biggest mistake you've ever made. You shouldn't even have shaken his hand, let alone, let alone slept with him. You picked up a transfer spirit through adultery. Come on now, you're an adulterer. And you picked up a transfer spirit. God wants to forgive you tonight. He wants to heal you tonight. Come on, guys. Come on, guys, you used to be a player. You was a player. Well, you was playing around with the devil when you were doing that. You picked up demons from a bunch of women you shouldn't even have shaken hands with. You got to get them transfer spirits out. Out. Come out, spirit. 
right now. Adultery, fornication, oral sex, anal sex, all form of perversions in the name of Jesus Christ. Perverted spirits. You pervert. Come on, ladies. The devil sent you an ugly man and you got raped. You got raped. You got raped. When you got raped, a spirit transferred into your body. A spirit transferred into your body. Hey, will you help that girl right there? Skinny one. A demon transferred into your body. You got to get that thing out. You got to get that thing out of there. Right now. If you got raped. Hey. Hey, did you get molested? Did you get molested when you were in third grade? Babysitter got you. A cousin got you. Your brother got you. Somebody started fondling you, fingering you when you were in second grade. Some ugly pervert, some guy, somebody with demons. That was a setup. You were set up by the demons in your brother, the babysitter, your sister, your cousin. You had sex with your cousin. Remember that? Remember that? Remember you had sex with your stepsister, your stepbrother. Remember that? Well, when you did that, you picked up a powerful spirit of lust. And it haunted you the rest of your life. Call upon me, says the Lord, and I will answer thee. I will show you great and mighty things that you do not know. Call upon me, says the Lord. Come on now. Have you not known? Have you not heard? The Lord, the everlasting God, the creator of the ends of the earth, fainteth not, neither is weary. There is no searching of his understanding. For he gives power to those who are weak. He gives power to the faint. He gives you power. Come on, just repent of it. Cry out to the Lord like Jonah. He cried out. He didn't pray a casual prayer. He was screaming. Jonah was screaming in hell. Lord, I'm sorry. Save me. I was wrong. Say it. I was wrong. I was wrong. I shouldn't have slept with that guy. I was wrong. I shouldn't have stolen that. I was a thief. I was a thief. If you confess your sins, your Heavenly Father, God will forgive you of your sins. And He will cleanse you from all unrighteousness. Demons are the most unrighteous beings on the planet. Demons are the epitome of evil, wickedness, and filth. Tonight... You renounce wickedness and evil and filth. I renounce it in the name of Jesus. I repent of it. I sanctify myself. I turn my back on the works of Satan. And I use my God-given authority. My God-given authority in Jesus' holy name. What's wrong with you, sweetheart? What do you need? You got fears and anxiety? I think I have when, one, one, when did it start? Um, years ago. 
You know, and how to, who hurt you? My mom and dad. Your mom and dad? Okay. Now, to help her pray for her mom and dad. Okay. Are they still alive? Okay. Close your eyes. Good girl. Listen, if you'll repent of it, the devil will t take a beating. He will remember for months. If you repent of it. Lord Jesus, forgive me. I'm a critical person. I grew up with parents who were critical. I'm like doubting Thomas. I'm a doubting Thomas. And it's my fault because my parents taught me to doubt and then I taught myself to keep doing it. And right now, I'm going to repent of it. Father God, I repent of doubt and unbelief in the name of Jesus. I repent of it right now, thus saith the Lord. I turn my back on this thing in Jesus' name. Unbelief and doubt is the worst sin of all. Unbelief is the worst sin of all. Unbelief is the worst sin yet known to man. Unbelief removes 100% of your blessings, 100% of your miracles, and your entire future will be sold to Satan if you don't repent of unbelief. Doubt and unbelief will destroy you. I repent of it now in Jesus' name. I receive the Word of God and I believe the Word of God. I believe in miracles. Come on now. That's what Catherine used to say. She used to say, I believe in miracles. Come on. Do you believe in miracles? Yes. Are you going to repent of doubting? Yes. Yes. If thou shalt hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God and do what is right and keep his commandments and follow his precepts, thus saith the Lord, I will put none of these diseases upon you I put on the Egyptians. I will not treat you like I did the Egyptians. I will treat you like my son and my daughter. Turn from your sin tonight. Turn from it. Every sin. Any sin. Even the sins you don't realize you're committing. You're taking offenses. You get upset. You get critical about yourself. You criticize others. You turn your back on people who need prayer. Go ahead and repent of it. Come on now. Just repent of it. Thus saith the Lord, come unto me, all ye who labor and are heavy laden. Are you worn out? Worn out from what? School, work, depression, your crazy family, your, your crackpot spouse, your crazy kids. Are you worn out? Are you worn out? Come unto me, the Lord Jesus said, all ye. All ye who are heavy laden. Get out now. Get out now. Get out now. And I say the Lord, I will give you rest. Wouldn't you like to have some rest and some peace? Come on. Hear the word of the Lord. Trust in the Lord with all your heart. And do not lean to your own understanding. Do not lean to your own understanding. Solomon Solomon leaned on his own understanding. He died a nothing and a nobody. Samson leaned on his own understanding and his own lusts. And he died. He died prematurely. He died before his ministry ended. He lost his future ministry and died when a pillar crashed on his head. 
No, you are not to be like Samson or Solomon. That is not your call from God. That is not your call from God. You are to be a sanctified vessel. You are a peculiar person. You are a holy nation. Come on now. That's who you are. You are to show forth the praises of Him who called you out of darkness and translated you into His marvelous light. That's what you're supposed to do. You're supposed to be an example. You're supposed to be anointed. You're supposed to have been fulfilling your call from God. And you didn't do it because you got jacked up with somebody Satan sent you. You got involved in another rotten relationship. Another bad man. Some other worthless woman wasting your life, your time, your energy, your money. You got tricked. The devil sent you a plant and you fell for it. It was a trick. But if you will repent of it, you will be restored. You can be restored. You don't have to waste the rest of your life. You've already wasted most of your life. There's some of you here tonight. You're not as old as I am, but you've already wasted decades of your life. Decades. That is, an, that is a spiritual outrage. You are not supposed to waste even another five minutes. The anointing is here. The Holy Ghost is here. Take advantage of it. Make your move. Make your move. Leave your sin behind. Sanctify yourself. Come out from among them, says the Lord. Come out of there. Leave. Leave your old life behind. Leave these rotten relationships behind. Forgive your parents and get rid of them. Release your parents from your soul. They are not your parents anymore. Your Heavenly Father is your parent, not your mom and dad. Turn your mom and dad over to the Lord. I did it. I did. If I can do it, anybody can do it. My parents were drunks. They were alcoholics. I turned them over to the Lord, and I came home to my Father in heaven. I traded my parents in for my Father in heaven. Make that trade. You know how to do it. You traded in a car. Remember that? Remember when you traded in a car? Will you trade your parents in for your Heavenly Father? Make the swap. The warehouse of blessings will open to you. But if you keep sinning, you keep masturbating, you keep porning, you keep fentanyling, you keep mething, if you keep doing that, you will die. You will die. You like to hear prophets? You need a prophet? Okay, I'll prophesy to you. If you don't stop taking drugs, if you don't stop drinking, if you don't stop cursing and swearing, if you don't stop living in sin, you will die. Thus saith the Lord, the soul that sinneth, it shall die. For the wages of sin is death. But the gift of God is eternal life through Jesus Christ our Lord. If you will turn from your old life and the insanity of your existence and all these sick relationships you had in the past, cut them. Cut them off. Don't, don't get remarried until you're delivered and you're healed. Then God will send you a spouse. Don't you pick out another spouse. No offense, you're an idiot. Don't pick out another spouse. You're going to pick a bad one. Let the Holy Ghost pick your spouse out for you. Then it's perfect. Perfecto. You don't pick out your own spouse. What are you, stupid? You're going to screw up again. That's what you've been doing since you've been eight years old, screwing up. You're screwing up. Years are over. 
They're over tonight. I declare you are no longer a screw up. It's over. This is the end. This is the end. Hear the word of the Lord. Tonight, you are not some two bit loser. You are Joshua, the warrior. Jehovah said to him, Hear the word of the Lord. Be strong and of good courage. Be strong, Joshua, and of good courage. For I will not leave thee or forsake thee. Come on now. God told Joshua he would not leave him and he would not forsake him if he would be strong and of good courage. If you will be strong and repent of your sin, if you will be strong and fight these demons, you will win. There's no question about it. You are guaranteed to win. You can't lose. You can't lose. The Holy Ghost is not capable of losing. He has never lost. He never will lose. He can't lose. He doesn't choose not to lose. He can't lose. He doesn't know how to lose. And you have the Holy Ghost here in your spirit, man. You have God living inside of you. God Himself. John 14, John 15, John 16. You have the Holy Ghost. But He's not going to do you any good if you don't use Him. If you can believe. All things are possible to him that believes. If you don't do anything, you don't get anything. Jesus said, you are my friends if you do what I told you. You are his friend. You are not his friend if you don't do what he told you. Come out, man. Come out quickly. Come on there and don't hold back. There he is. Oh, he's gone. There he goes. There he goes. Come out, Satan. Come out, Satan. Out in Jesus' holy name. Out of that body right in a second. Come out of that body right now. If you will turn your heart over to the Lord. If you turn your heart over to the Lord. Hear the word of the Lord. Draw nigh to God. And he will draw nigh to you. That's a promise. That's a promise from God. Cleanse your hands, you sinners. That's what, that's what James said. Draw nigh to God. He will draw nigh to you. Cleanse your hands, you sinners. Cleanse your hands, you sinners. That's what he said. Come on. Are you a double-minded Christian? Are you here today, then you're gone? Are you up today, then you're down? Come down and repent of it. A double-minded man is unstable in all their ways. A double-minded man. Demons in the brain cause you to be double-minded. A flip-flopper. <clears throat> Are you a dipsicus? Do you have a fake soul? You have a fake soul because you keep feeding the demons in your brain. That's how you keep a fake soul. And then the fake soul manifests with another personality. O.J. Simpson had a fake soul. He was a super nice guy one minute, and then he pulled a knife on you the next minute. A different person manifested out of O.J. Simpson. He was a dipsicus, a double-minded person. A dipsicus is unstable in all their ways. You got a fake soul. You got a fake personality in there. You know why he's in there? Because you keep feeding him. Fake souls demand sin. They demand you listen to them. They demand you keep sinning. They will tolerate nothing less than you sinning, lying, making excuses, and blaming others. A fake soul will develop in your 
subconscious mind and it will manifest with a different voice. A different voice comes out of somebody. A male's voice comes out of a female. A, a female voice comes out of a male. That is the fake soul that you've been feeding with drugs, alcohol, lies, anger, hatred, bitterness. That's how you developed a fake soul. Once you get a fake soul, it's like amputating your skull to get rid of them. They dig in like Alabama ticks. Enormous repentance is required to get rid of a fake soul. You can't just repent like a church person. Those people don't know how to repent. They come down and say a couple of quick prayers. Oh, they hope somebody will anoint them with oil. Then they go to Denny's. No! You can't get rid of a fake soul like that. You got to surrender everything you've got. Everything you have. You cough up everything. All of it. Your entire miserable childhood. Your sickening teenage years. Drugs, drinking, parties, and sex. You surrender everything to get rid of a fake soul. You have to do it. You have to do it. I know my business. I've been doing this for years. You have to do it. It's going to cost you everything. It's going to cost you sanctification. Sanctification is the key. Setting yourself apart for God. Walking away from your old life and leaving it behind. Ending the insanity of your existence and walking into the new light and life of Christ. You must take these thoughts captive or you will end up like Samson. You must take these thoughts captive. You will end up like Solomon, a total and complete loser. If you don't take these thoughts captive, some people end up like Judas. They can't take it anymore. They're worn out. They're, they're hopeless and they kill themselves like Judas. Why? He didn't take the first thoughts captive. When the devil started to put lies in his head, in the very beginning of Jesus' ministry, he, he wasn't taking them captive. He wasn't shooting them down. He wasn't executing those thoughts. He wasn't slitting their throats. He let them live. If you let the thoughts live, they will multiply like rats in New York. The rats have taken over New York City. They're all there in the sewers everywhere. They come out and eat in public and nobody does anything about them. One or two, three rats leads to hundreds of rats. One or two or three negative thoughts leads to a documented mental illness years later. Years later. You have the anointing, you must use it. You have the anointing, just use it. Like that big guy right there, he's got a huge anointing. He ought to be running around putting his hands on people and having them healed. He should be a faith healer. You got to use the anointing you have before God gives you an increased anointing. That's how it works. The Holy Ghost works in increments. Every person who's in the ministry goes through increments. Short little training spells. That's how he does it. That's what he does. He gives you a little bit here. If you do well there, he gives you a little bit more. If you do well there, he gives you a little more. Then some more, then some more. That's how he works it. You know you got it. The guy's got it. This big guy's loaded here. He needs to start using it. So you got to step out your faith and use it a little bit. Nobody starts out as an Olympic runner. Everybody starts out, you know, in high school, running laps. Okay, that's how it starts. You got to go in increments. It's an incremental miracle. <laughs> Love you. You did a great job tonight. <laughs> I'm proud of you. I'm proud of you. <laughs> that was great. Not anymore. I've been struggling for the same thing here, which is 
Then you tug along the mind. It's your. It's all in your mind. Your anointing's fine. I saw you. <laughs> Great. <laughs> you ought to follow him around and he, as a faith healer. That's what you need to be. <laughs> I love you. <laughs> I'm proud of you tonight. I hope you come back. Love you. <clears throat> Don't forget about what I said. Increments. That's how you do it. One step at a time. See? But you got to step out and take the first step. That's, what the, that's why preachers call it stepping out in, in faith. You got to step out in faith. Okay? That's how they do it. That's how they do it. A.A. Allen would pray for some guy on a, on a, on a cot. And then, at, then he would say, okay, let's go. And then he would help them up to take their first step of faith. And then the person with cancer would walk way down there and then walk way. They were fine. But if they kept laying there and wouldn't get up, they would have never been healed. You see that? <laughs> Jesus said, go down there and wash your, wash your eyes out in the pool of Salome. Go down there. He told those lepers, hey, go show yourself to the priest. And the Bible says, as they went, they were cleansed. There were 10 of them. 10 lepers took off and obeyed God. All 10 of them got healed, but one of them wanted to be an anointed faith healer. One of them. One of the 10. God's men of faith and power and women of faith, and power, they're always in the minority. They're never in the crowd. It's always one or two who catch the vision. One leper came back. One leper. He wanted to be more than cleansed of leprosy. It says he wanted to be made whole. That sermon will preach. That's a great sermon. Go ahead and steal that from me and preach that. You got my permission to do it, especially that faith healer guy, big guy there. Steal that one. One of the lepers. Ten of them got healed. Only one of them wanted to be made whole. There's a difference. Healing, healing is not a cure-all. It's a wonderful blessing from God, and we love it. We've seen hundreds of people healed. But being made whole is more important than being healed. And only one of the ten wanted to be made whole. One. When I get an altar call down here, not everybody comes up that should come up. Nope, they don't. They sit back there, anxious, fearful, whatever it is, doubting. But the ones that come up, the Holy Ghost up here ready for them. He's ready to go. The Spirit of God is always ready for a fight. He's always ready to go. You got to step out on your faith to trigger your anointing. That's how it works. Doing nothing will trigger nothing. If you don't believe me, ask blind Bartimaeus. If you don't believe me, ask the two blind men. Why don't you ask the woman with the issue of blood? She was dying of cervix cancer. What, why don't you ask them? What'd they do? Sit there and wait for some faith healer to come by and put oil in their face? No! They made their move. They went for it. YouTubers, are you listening to me? You gotta, you gotta go for it. Yeah, go for it. Sanctifying yourself, that's going for it. Repenting of your sin, that's going for it. Taking thoughts captive, that's going for it. Step out and do it. That's when the Holy Ghost makes his move. That's how he does it. Isn't anybody listening to me? Where's the YouTubers? If you make a move, the Holy Ghost will make it with you. If you sit and do nothing, he's not going to do anything. Have you ever been to a mega church? It's pitiful. Almost nobody gets healed at a megachurch. 
nobody gets delivered from demons. They just sit there. They sit there. Then they get up and they go to lunch. That's no way to get a miracle from God. Are you kidding me? What are you, nuts? You got to make a move. You got to move. You got to do something. Taking a thought captive is making a move for God. It's part of the sanctification process. Not listening to demons. Refusing to listen to them. Talk to the hand. That is a sanctification move. You're sanctifying your mind by setting it apart for God. You're developing the mind of Christ. Right? Let this mind be in you, which was also in Christ Jesus, who being in the form of God, thought it not robbery to be equal with God, but made himself of no reputation. Taking on the, taking on the form of a servant. He became a man, and humbled himself, and became obedient, even obedient to the death of the cross. That's what I'm talking about. Jesus said, I did not come to be served. I came to serve. He washed Judas's feet. Satan already took him. And he washed his feet anyway. Translation, you must Forgive yourself and all these people that said stupid things to you, that lied to you, that pointed their finger at you, that blamed you for everything. All these people have to be forgiven. All their demons have to be removed from your brain and your body. All of them. All these people, they must all go. Why? Because you are sanctifying yourself for Christ. You are in a sanctification move of God. That's what it is. And that means your old life gets dumped. All of it. Trash canned. Hasta la vista. Gone. That's what you do. YouTubers, are you listen to me? That's what you do. Pull the plug on it. Pull the plug on it. That's how you do it. <laughs> That's an anointed word. Pull the plug on it. Yeah, I want to think I'll do that next Friday. Hey. Love you. I didn't realize what you were saying earlier about how people who <laughs> have the um, <clears throat> BPD and all that have to work harder than anyone. I don't really realize how hard I have to work. Yeah, that's when I gave you the number. What was the number? Twelve. That's harder than anybody else works. How are you, do, how are you doing? Um, I, I mean, I, I feel okay, but... I mean, I, What's the thoughts? <clears throat> they put me, like, even to What's hear the sermon, they put me asleep. Like, I have the, I'm like... Yeah, okay. those are brain demons. What were the thoughts you had after that? <laughs> uh, uh, okay, well, I, I was just fighting it. it. I was like... Fighting like, what's up? Slipping in and out, like not. Getting and what were you thinking about? I don't know, but they were doing it on my new job, and it's not good. And then they want me back on caffeine. They like, it, and that was. Just, um, oh, you had a thought of caffeine. There it is, ready. Uh -huh. oh, come on, that right there. Caffeine, come on out of there. There he is, caffeine. Out, spirit. There he is. Come on out. Demons of caffeine. Go on. Come out of her. Come out of there. Quicker. Get out of that body right now. Caffeine. 
Lies, lies, caffeine and drugs, caffeine and uppers, Adderall, boom. Childhood mental illness, out. There we go. Come out right now. Come out. Come out there right now. You narcolepsy spirit. Narcolepsy, come on out. Stop passing around. Stop that. Come on out, buddy. Narcolepsy. That's a spirit in your brain. Cause you to go to sleep like that. Sometimes they go off in a second. They're out. Just like that. Come out of there. Come out. Narcolepsy. Let's go. Hurry up. Come on out of there. There we go. Come on out. Yeah, come out of there. Come out of there. Go. No more falling asleep. That's it. No more passing out. No more. How you doing? What's wrong with you? <laughs> yeah, I see that. What's the main thing? Uh, probably like. Uh, What's the diagnosis? Uh, I mean, I've been. I I made a lot of people that are close to Satan really mad. Doing what? Uh, just, um, you know, doing what I like to do without reckless abandon like I've always done since I was young. Yeah, now listen, you're going to end up burning in hell if you don't repent of this thing. Now go ahead. Lord Jesus, I don't want to end up like Jonah in hell. Uh, Lord Wasting my life. Come on. I don't want to end up like Jonah in hell and spend the rest of my life. I want to serve you, Lord. I want to serve you. And I'm sorry for what I've done. I'm sorry for what I've done. Because when I sinned, I hurt your feelings. Because when I sinned, I hurt your I've been hurting your feelings for years. I've been hurting your feelings for years. Please forgive me, dear Lord. Please forgive me, dear Lord. You speak in tongues? I'm not sure. Go ahead. Stop shaking, demon, and come on out. Stop shaking and come out right now. Come on, stop shaking him like that. Come out of there right now. Come out. You spirit of insanity, oh, out of that forehead. Come on out, quickly. Come on. Get out of me, spirit. I can't stand you anymore. I'm not living like this anymore. I'm not going to die a failure. I'm not going to do it. I'm not going to keep being late and always messing up. I'm going to repent of it, Lord. I'm so sorry I hurt you. Now, come on out right now. Get out of my body right this second. Hurry up. I command you to come out of my body right now. You get out of there. You get out of my body right now. Say that. Demon, you get out of my body. Yeah, boy, good. Say it again. Demon, I command you. I command you to leave. Good. He doesn't believe you. Now tell him you're, tell him to go. Force him out. In Jesus' holy name, by the blood of Christ. Blood of Christ. Get out of my body. Get out of my body. There you go. Satan, I command you, come out. Satan, right a second. You to come out. Right now. Hurry up. Get out of my body right this second. Get out of my body this second. There you go. Stop shaking me. Come out of my body right now. Oh, thank you, Jesus. All right, take a big breath. Holy Spirit, come in. Good. Big Holy breath. Holy Spirit, come into my body. Take a big breath. There you go. And a big breath. Heal him, Lord. Father God, I want you to go back to when he was a child and come forward. Heal this insane life, oh God. Have mercy. Mercy, Lord. Mercy. You stop shaking my body, Spirit. You come stop out of his stomach. Shaking my body. Come out of there right now. Body. Spirit of lust. Get Spirit out of, of there. Get out of there. Leave my, body. Leave my body. Good. There you go. Leave my body. Come out of my body in the right now in the name of Jesus. Get out of my legs. Get out of my legs. Come out of my legs. Stop shaking my hand like that. Stop it. All forms of witchcraft and sorcery in his family tree. Break. All forms of witchcraft. Just break. Come out of that brain right now. All forms of mental illness. Get out of that brain right now. Get out of that brain right now. Get 
out of my brain. Yeah. All forms of mental illness. Amen. All forms of witchcraft. Amen. Of there you go. Good. Generational curse. Good. 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 You've led me to believe that there's powers outside of the name of Jesus. I renounce all those powers, all demonic powers. I renounce. I turn my back on Satan. I turn my back on Satan and all his work. All of his work. I renounce Satan. I renounce Satan. And all of his work. And all of his objects of power. Amen. All of his lies and Good. of the things I love. Good. Come out. I renounce you and I command you to come out. I renounce you and I command you to come out. Good. Come on, that body. Let's go. I know you were given authority over the earth. Not me anymore. But not me. Not me anymore. You were given authority. Thank you, Jesus. All Thank you, Jesus. Positions of power. Yeah, shake out of it now. Come out of there. Me. Come out of his body. Shake out of there. Shake out. You were given control of all our vices and entertainments, but not over me. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, I thank you, Lord. I thank you, Lord Jesus. I give you praise. Come out of there, Shaky. Shaky, come out. Leave my body right now. Come out of my body. Leave my body. Shaky, stop shaking me. Stop it. Come out. Witchcraft, sorcery, evil, wickedness. wickedness leave my body. Leave my body. Yes, leave my body. I no longer. Come out. Will handle your presence. Come out right now. Out. Come out of my body. Good. Be judged at the feet of Christ. Amen. Amen. The blood of Jesus. Heal. Heal. The blood of Jesus. I sanctify myself. I leave my life of sin. Jesus, I sanctify myself. I leave my life of sin. I let it go now. And I let it go now. 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 All right, let's speak in tongues. Oh, Ramasham Drimoshan Drava. Hello, Vashatra Sasasia. Hindo Moshan Drimosha Vila. Ye came a sheet of Shundra Mosha Drasa. Ye come Moshive. Ye Lomashandra Moshim Vadi Mosha Drasa. Out. Undi Moshandra Moshandra Mamma. Come out. Demon of hate and rage. Out. You're next. Out. And Ramoshandra Mamma Mashandra Moshiveva. Hello, Mashandriva Shatrimo. Spirit of hate and rage. Spirit Come out of him. And rage. I want you out and from my body right now. In Jesus' holy name. I want you out of my body right now. Thus saith the Lord. Come out of that body right now. Out of my body. Come on, stop shaking me like that. Come out. Come on out of there. Come out of there. Hurry up. Get out of my body. Stop shaking me around like a tuning fork. Stop it. Go. Go. All right, you ready? Raise your hands. Ready? Say, Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. I give you the praise. I'm giving you the praise. Give me the glory. Thank you for helping me. Thank you for helping me. The grace to save me. I love you. Yes, I do. I have the grace to save you. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, dear Lord. Thank you, dear Lord. Glory to God. You got any pain in your body? You have any pain in your body? Uh, yeah. Where? I, right now, my neck and shoulders. Neck and shoulders. <clears throat> yeah, neck and shoulder pain. All right, ready? Now, Lord Jesus, for he was wounded for our transgressions, and he was bruised for our iniquities. The chastisement of our peace was upon him, and by his stripes we are healed.
In Jesus' name, I command this pain to leave this body right now. Pain, come out of that body right now. Say that. In the name of Jesus, I command this pain to go. In the name of the Lord. Right now. I command that pain to come out of his neck. Go. Gone. In the name of Jesus. There you go. Check your shoulder out, your neck. Any change? Anything? Check your body out and see if there's any pain in there. Is there still pain there? Some, but yeah, it's very There's still that's not good enough. Now, is there any sin you can think of you got to repent of? Plenty. Go ahead. Go ahead. No, out loud. You got to say it out loud. I repent. Come on. Giving in to sin at an early age. What sins? Giving to sexual love. <clears throat> okay. I repent of it in Jesus' name. Good. Say it. Watching porn. Watching porn. Keep going. Keep going. Forgive me for. Good. Come on. Say it. Good. Say it out loud. Say it out loud so you can get the rest of your healing. You got part of it. We got to get the rest of it. Okay. Hi, babes. Love you. YouTubers ran a little late tonight. I apologize for that. Now, don't forget to go to the website, hardcorechristianity.com. Don't forget to hit the teaching button at the top of the website and I want you to read these two articles how Satan controls the mind and Satan's counterattack you will be hit within 48 hours of this service hey he isn't finished repent hey hey he's not finished repenting out there hey hey will you go tell him he has finished up repenting hey hey he's not ready he hasn't finished repenting yet Joe can you help that guy and I want you to read those two articles, How Satan Controls the Mind and Satan's Counterattack. Okay? Please remember our three Zoom services, Monday, Wednesday, and Fridays. Monday's for the ladies. Please remember our live services, two Thursday and Friday nights. Tomorrow is the Children's Deliverance Service. If you have a preteen that needs prayer, 10 o'clock tomorrow in the small sanctuary, it's going to be fantastic. See you next time.